Welcome back. In this section, we will preview Unit 4. Unit 4 is the world of color. As you notice from the enduring understandings and essential questions, the concepts addressed are deeper than other typical preschool curricula. Like all of the units, Unit 4 will have echoes to previous ones. For example, colors communicate ideas, thoughts, and feelings. Like when Peter decides to paint the chair pink to show that he's had a change of heart. Or the illustrations in Sometimes I'm Bobaloo are red to show she's angry. Or that colors carry information, like the blueprints the children saw in Road Builders. The unit begins with Max's dragon shirt and features rabbits that children can compare and contrast to the ones that they saw in Rabbits and Raindrops. The dilemma in the story is that Max has a pair of dirty overalls that need replacing. He and his sister Ruby go to a department store where he gets lost and instead of new overalls, gets a shirt with his favorite animal, a dragon. In dramatization, children will create a laundromat and in small groups, experiment with staining and color fast fabric. Children will also create a department store, like the one where Max and Ruby go to, and will be introduced to the concept of maps, a tool that Max could have used when he got lost. Children will make their own shirts and explore why the dragon, like in Max's dragon shirt, symbolizes empowerment and they'll contrast the dragon to the one that they saw in the Seven Chinese Sisters. In Dog's Colorful Day, the dog needs a bath to wash out all of the stains that he acquires on his neighborhood walk. Children will also experiment with washing out stains. They will do a variety of color mixing and make their own spots. In week two, a boy goes to visit his grandma and is overwhelmed by the noises and sights of the city. The illustrations start out mostly black and white to convey this discomfort and become more colorful after Nana knits him a bright red cape that makes him feel powerful and brave, similar to Max's dragon shirt. Children will use a variety of materials to create their own colorful cities and use writing to make signs and signals. Like the boy in the story, children will make their own capes and powerful shirts. In weeks three and four, we meet another lion, different from Dandelion, but like Dandelion has a friendship that is complicated by a miscommunication. In the story, the bird and the lion don't speak each other's language, but have a shared experience when they go into the lion's cave and see the beautiful mural that he's painted with his tail. Children will create their own colorful murals similar to the lions, as well as compare and contrast them to murals in their community. In the colors of us, a little girl wants to paint portraits of her friends and family 
and experiments with color mixing to match their skin tone. Children will then paint their own self-portraits and is an opportunity to explore diversity by comparing and contrasting similarities and differences. The swivel text for Unit 4 is Cat's Colors. The cat, similar to the dog, encounters colors on a walk. It also connects to Unit 1, as the cat's favorite color is orange, the color of his mother. The nonfiction texts for this unit are the many resources that reflect images from the Boston community. In Building Blocks, weeks 16 and 17 address patterns, and weeks 18 through 20, number sense.